We finally got some sales coming in today. If you saw my last video, you saw how miserable we started the month of October. I'm hoping that today is a turning point to the month and we can get some more sales starting to roll in. Um, but I have all the sales here on the table next to me. So we're gonna go over what sold, where we got these items, uh, how much we paid and how much we are making off each of these items. I'm also gonna talk about one thing that I haven't done in our eBay store yet, but something that I'm gonna start doing to hopefully get all these items that have zero views or maybe less than a handful of views to try to get these turned around and sold. I know this has worked good for a lot of people um, on their stores, so we're gonna give it a try as well. There is one that's free and there's some paid apps that you can use to do this little trick here. So we're gonna go over all that stuff in today's video. So let's go ahead and start with the first sale here. And one of these sales is gonna be an absolute nightmare to ship. I'm not looking forward to shipping this one. And plus, right before the buyer purchased it, they did message us to ask if we can wrap and package this thing uh, so it doesn't arrive damaged. You know when they ask that, they're gonna be really particular about this item arriving safely. So I'm gonna show you that one last, but I'm not looking forward to getting this thing shipped out. I'm just crossing my fingers, hoping that it makes it safely. But item number one, so we have zero dollars into this item right here. This was actually a free pickup that we did. If you've been following us, you know by now we love our free pickups. We made tons of sales from Facebook and Craigslist pickups that we do. So this right here was actually a lot of DVDs that we picked up. It was a whole box full. And what we did is we kind of categorized these DVDs um, kind of by like this one right here. These are all dinosaur movies. So we put this into a lot of three dinosaur movies. We have Chased by Dinosaurs. We have Before the Dinosaurs, Walking with Monsters. And then we have Prehistoric Planet. These actually sold over on Mercari for $14 plus shipping. So it looks like we're gonna make a total of $11.57 off these three DVDs. Obviously these are gonna be easy to ship. We're just gonna throw them in a bubble mailer and go ahead and send those off. And item number two is something we picked up at a local thrift store. This is part of a new wave oven. We actually bought the whole oven. Uh, we decided to just part it out. We bought it for $29. We've already sold one part of it, so we're already in the profit. We sold this base along with the drip tray that goes in it. Uh, that one actually sold over on Poshmark. This one sold for a total of $13, so not a ton of money, but again, it is all profit. So it looks like we're gonna be earning $10.05 off of this. Shouldn't be too hard to ship. We're just gonna find a box, uh, maybe cut up and make this fit perfectly in there. So item number three was another free pickup. This one only lasted two days before it sold. If you haven't watched that video, again, you can check this one up right up here as part of a free pickup that we did for a bunch of stuff. We picked up two printers. Again, we decided to part it out. This was just a tray that comes out of the printer. We sold this one for, and this was an eBay sale. This one actually sold for $39.86 plus tax. And then again, we still do have the big printer that we can continue to rip parts out of, or we can just sell the printer without the tray. Um, so $39.86 before any fees or taxes. So we'll probably end up making like $31, $32 off this free pickup. So before we get into the last two sales, I wanna talk about the topic of this video. Um, and I'm gonna chill in the shade for a little bit because it's way too hot out there. But what I wanted to talk about is something that you can do to your listings to try to make them stand out from everybody else, especially if you're selling an item that's really popular or really in demand and it's just cluttered with other sellers' items. Uh, you definitely wanna find a way to stand out. And what I'm talking about is doing your photos with AI-generated backgrounds. I know a lot of people are doing this. I've never tried it, like I said, I've never tried it before on our listings, but it's something I'm willing to try at this point uh, because we do have a lot of listings that are either, um, like I said, competing with a lot of other people's listings or they're just not getting any traction at all. They have between zero and five views and they've been posted for a while. So I thought I can just go ahead and experiment with this and see if that gets any traction, maybe test it for a week or so to see if that makes a difference at all. Let me know in the comments if you're using photos with AI generated backgrounds. Now, as I mentioned, there is a free way of doing this and there is a paid version of doing it. So first I wanted to talk about the free way of doing it and that's a software called GIMP, G-I-M-P. So this is kind of like a Photoshop where you can also do like thumbnails and photos and stuff like that. 
This is a free site. It doesn't take very much to learn. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on this. There's plenty of videos. You can just go ahead and search on YouTube. What you do is just go ahead and put it in there. You mask out your object, you make a white background, and from there you can import uh, whatever picture you want as your background. Now, it's not gonna be perfect. It doesn't have the um, capability of like laying your item flat onto the picture, making it look like it's really there. And there are two paid ways that I wanna talk about today. Um, I'll start off with the second to best one, and then I'll talk about what I think is the best one, what I might start using moving forward. The first one that I wanted to talk about is Photoshop. Now this is a paid app. It's probably cheaper if you just buy the whole Adobe Creative Cloud uh, package, which is $29 a month. Um, if you are just a regular user or if you're a student or teacher, you can go ahead and sign up for the that plan, which is $19.99 a month. It doesn't just come with Photoshop. You have Premiere Pro, which is like an editing software. You have Lightroom to edit photos. You have Photoshop, After Effects, if you're into all that stuff. So it does come with a full package of apps that you can use. Now, Photoshop just came out with something fairly recently um, that incorporates AI, and it's called Generated Fill. So basically, I'll just do a quick run through on this because I did play around with it last night. So this is not gonna be perfect, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what you can do in Photoshop. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and drag a picture in, whatever item you're taking pictures of. You're gonna go ahead and hit done, click remove background. That's gonna go ahead and separate your image from the background. Then you go ahead and hit generated fill. All you're gonna do here is type in whatever you want in the background but we'll just go ahead and type anything in here and see what kind of photo it gives us here so you can see this is just a plain white background but it does give you that nice shadow makes it look a little more realistic but you can see i'm playing around with different terms here i kind of like the way this one turned out so this one right here is all right but you can see under the legs here there are some white looking lines which is not really realistic this one is pretty good as well. It does look like it's standing on the shelf. So you can just get an idea of the type of stuff you can do here. We'll try one more and see what kind of image it gives us. So instead of laying, we'll go ahead and put the word sitting to see if that gives us um, a different kind of picture here. Now these are not the best. I don't really like that one. This one turned out okay, depending on what kind of items you're taking pictures of. And that one right there is not bad at all either. Then obviously you can just go ahead and export it, save it on your computer, then you drag it into eBay and save it as your cover photo. So that's how you use Photoshop to get these AI generated background pictures. Uh, let's hop into the last two sales and then we'll jump into the number one way to go ahead and make these photos. The second to last item is kind of a heavier item. It is this guy right here. We never purchased one of these before. This is a George Foreman grill. So we actually bought this thing for $3. Uh, we actually bought a bunch of stuff at a yard sale. She ended up giving us a discount. So I think we ended up probably paying like $2 for that machine or for that uh, grill. This was a total, this was an eBay sale, $30 plus shipping on that guy. So we're probably gonna make $23 or so profit on this one. And then the big dog right here, this item that I'm not looking forward to shipping out. Now this is another free item. So item number three of the video. Uh, that was picked up for free. This was actually a Craigslist pickup. Uh, the only downside to this is it did take a while to sell. I think it took like two months to sell. Let me know if you've ever sold this. Maybe you never thought about selling these, but first I'll let you listen to it, see if you can guess what it is. This is a box full of Gerber jars. I had no clue either that we can sell these things when this lady had it listed. First thing I did was I jumped on eBay to see if any have sold. And surprisingly, a lot of these things are listed and being sold. Uh, this is a box of about 52, I believe, Gerber jars. And this is the one where the lady said if we can be really careful shipping this thing. So I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and wrap individually with packing paper or, I don't know, maybe bubble wrap. But I think just worst case, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap these things like crazy with packing paper individually uh, put them in here and pack it really tight all the extra space with packing paper as well that should keep this thing from moving around and hopefully none of these things arrive broken to their destination uh, but this was an ebay sale this one actually sold we had to lower the price quite a bit for it to sell but it ended up selling for 24.99 
plus shipping. So everything that we did was plus shipping. Uh, so we're probably going to end up making $18 or $19 profit on that box of jars now in my opinion this app right here actually beats out photoshop in doing the job as far as a few hours that me and my son were testing it out last night we weren't really too happy with photoshop even though it did the job it didn't do as good as this app did right here this is an app called photo room i'm not going to go into a full tutorial on this there is one that the reseller information network put out in their podcast it's actually a really good video i checked it out before jumping into here um, I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description. I highly recommend checking out their video. They go really in depth on step by step how to make these pictures look really good for eBay. But that one is going to be eight to nine dollars a month. It is cheaper than the Photoshop. But then again, Photoshop, if you get the $20 a month plan, you're getting that full suite of apps with all the video editing and photo editing and stuff like that. If you're into all that kind of stuff, I think it's a better deal. But for nine dollars a month, you can go ahead and get Photo Room. That's what I'm going to use. There is a one week free trial that I'm going to take advantage of just to see what kind of activity I'm getting on my uh, items once we do change the background. So I'm hoping that this trick can help turn our sales around, get us rolling into the month of November because like I said, October started off completely horrible as far as sales go. Uh, but let's go over the numbers that we made today on these five listings. All right, so adding up the total sales of all the items that we had today minus the cost of goods, shipping taxes and fees and all that good stuff we are bringing home a total profit of 98 dollars and some change so right under a hundred dollars it is barely 2 45 p.m so we still have a chance of selling a few more things today um, hopefully we do get a couple more sales rolling in but as of right now uh, just under 100 in profit I mean, it's not great, but it's better than what we were doing at the beginning of the month. But I got to get on the road and get these things shipped. We only have about an hour and a half before the post office closes. And we still got to get those Gerber bottles wrapped up and make sure they arrive safely. We got to get all these big things here packed up as well. So let me know if you use those AI generated photos in your listings. Or let me know if you are going to start using them after watching this video today. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.